Hello students. Today we will create a new project in Scratch and we will name the project as Quiz and we'll delete the cat sprite and from the library of sprites we will take Abby character and every character and we will turn the direction of every from here we will turn her left the all the body turns around so we'll choose turn left right and from the stage backdrops we will import a backdrop of indoor backdrop of a chalkboard as if a quiz is happening in a classroom and now we start the coding with Avery start on green flag we start with Avery B costume from looks switch costume to Avery B wait for a second and then again switch costume to Avery A and now from sensing there's a command called ask so you can ask any question out here we will use the same question what's your name when i press the green flag so avery is asking a question and you can see a text box here and a cursor is blinking where the user can type the answer now whatever answer the user types supposing i type shweta and then i press the enter key or the stick mark here so that answer is saved in the answer over here below the ask you can see answer now if i click on this answer checkbox it is shown here in the stage so the answer of the last question that is asked is given in this answer variable so we will be using this answer variable but before that i want Avery to speak as well so from add extension I will get the text to speech extension and from the text to speech commands I will use set voice to alto in the beginning for Avery and the speak command before the ask command I will copy this right click copy and here right click paste now when I run this, what's your name? So Avery was asking what's your name and also after that the dialog box is coming here to type the answer. Now we want that the answer which this girl gives, if you want this dialog to appear uh, before she's speaking, you can also from looks get the say hello command and type the same thing right click and paste now when i run this so first the dialogue What's will come your name? and she's speaking and after that the ask command is asking now whatever answer we get i want to store it in a variable so that later i can use that variable student name so i will go to variables and make a new variable and the variable name i will give as student name let it be for all sprites and now we'll use the set variable command set student name to so the answer for that ask command from sensing the answer will come here now when i run the green flag what's your name so she's asking the name and now if i say supposing me anita and press enter key so in the answer and as well as in the student name variable anita has got saved now if i want this other character to speak this as her name so we will have to send a message to the other character so from events we will broadcast a message a new message we will take speak name and the other character when the sprite receives the message when i receive speak name message it will do something 
and when the green flag is clicked i want to change the costume to abby uh, abby d with her mouth closed so here from looks switch costume to abby d and when she receives this message then i'll switch the costume to abby c this one with the happy face she will be speaking and she will be speaking her name so she'll be using the say command now here she'll be saying my name is and whatever is stored in the variable that name will be say or said so we have to join on the text as well as a variable so in operators we have this down here when we scroll down this join apple banana command when i bring this and place it here now in the first part i will write my name is remember to put a space after is so that the next part does not attach along with the text and from the variables i will drag student name now i want her to speak this as well so from the text to speech i'll bring the speak hello and i'll just duplicate this join part so i bring my mouse over join right mouse click duplicate and place it here my name is anira okay now we will save it and i'll maximize the screen and run it from start what's your name now if i type my name shweta and press enter my name is shweta so the other character switched costumes and she said my name is shweta which is stored in student name if i want to remove these two things from the stage so in variables i will go and unselect the student name variable also in sensing i will unselect answer so it is not shown on the stage and also if i want not to show this speech bubble so from looks i will bring say hello command without number of seconds and delete this hello part so now when it runs it will say what's your name if i say the name is tracy and press enter my name is tracy so the speech bubble was speaking but there's no nothing to speak so it is looking like invisible i hope you enjoy creating this uh, project on quiz we will continue it in the next class and the new commands you learned today from sensing the ask command and from variable variables and operators join apple banana happy coding